supposed to say something. <laughs> I was waiting for you to ask me a question. Oh, I don't always have to ask you a question. You know, you could talk. I could. You know, I don't always have to wait <clears throat> for a question to talk. All right, dear. <laughs> Good morning, Boomer. Are you having daddy time? Are you having daddy time? And Mr. Freckles, how are you feeling now that you got your medicine? He's feeling better. I oh, think. look at you. Oh, yes, you're feeling better. And we've had no pee-pee accidents so far. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I think I have a cat attached to my tape, my face. What? Daddy doesn't, wasn't giving you enough attention, so you had to come to me? Or just because we switched cameras and you need to be on camera today. Are, are you, like, ready for the spotlight today or something? You didn't have enough spotlight yesterday? So, anybody, Arola. So, everybody. Anybody? <laughs> anybody, anybody. Anybody out there who wants to hear it. <laughs> so, babe, where's your other slipper? Uh, you'll have to ask Boomer. Yeah? Yeah. I thought uh, you were starting a new fashion trend, so I decided to go without a slipper on my foot, too. That's nice. Yeah. But uh, I washed Boomer's cow, so he stole my slipper. How dare you touch his cow? Well, my other slippers were peed on by your cat. <laughs> and all that, big, all that plastic I put down worked great. No peeing on the carpet. She peed on the plastic. Peed on the plastic, so when the pillow fell onto the plastic, I now have pee all over my pillow. We gotta wash the whole pillow because. Yep. Yep. I love animals. <laughs> yes, you do. So, hey guys, already had some breakfast and some lunch, and it is now 2 o'clock and. Kevin is working on the computer, looking for some work, looking for a job, and I decided I think it's time to put some laundry away, because we had no clean clothes in the house. All these piles of laundry you see here, one, two, three, all clean clothes, but they were all in the garage, so I think I better put some laundry away. Just haven't felt up to doing anything, but I think it needs to be done. See my little man back there? Anyway, I'll catch y'all in a little while. And our cable company is having issues, so we have no cable right now. But we can still watch things that we recorded, so while I'm putting the laundry away, I'm going to watch last night's American Idol. Catch y'all later! <laughs> Somebody get locked in the closet. Somebody get locked in the closet. <laughs> we have a monster in the closet. Take, take, take the camera when you open the door and get in his face. Ready? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> How'd you get in there? Hey, Zoe. <laughs> You're just so curious here in the closet. You silly kitty. Oh, Boomer's out of the closet. <laughs> yes, it's time to come out of the closet, Boomer. That's why he likes cows instead of female cats. <laughs> <sighs> Twitch is on, Robo. <laughs> okay, so... Kevin just ran to the post office because he had some more packages he needed to mail out. And I put away all the laundry. You can see the bed. 
Yay, and Boomer's on the bed. Hi, Boomer. 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 He's busy. And I watched last night's American Idol, and it's pretty exciting. And I'm going to just kind of chill now a little bit and watch some of my other shows while Kevin is gone. Not feeling that great today. I have a pretty bad headache. So, <laughs> Ebony's over here rolling around on the floor. What are you doing, Ebster? So anyway, I'm just going to kick back and relax a little bit till Kevin gets back. Um, then we got to put uh, Nibbling with the Neighbors up. And he hopefully he'll have time to work on the paranormal investigation vlog today. So, that's about it for now, guys. Catch y'all a little later. Hello, everybody. So, Kevin did some work in the garage and went to the post office and he cleaned up the kitchen. And I took a nap. <laughs> so, right now I'm going to throw together something for dinner. Uh, it's a little bit later um, than we normally get started, but I just got woken up. I probably would have slept all night if Kevin didn't wake me up. So, I'm going to um, throw together probably some chicken and potatoes and squash and stuff like that. So, stuff here. Still don't like it. <laughs> you don't have to eat it, babe. I'll eat it. All right. Well, you didn't say what stuff it was. It was some sort of squashy thing. Butternut squash. Yeah. Potatoes and onions. Ah, you trying to stab freckles? <laughs> Potatoes and onions good. Chicken. Delicious. All right. So I kind of threw something together real quick for dinner because I was sleeping. <laughs> but right now I'm going to watch the end of Face Off because I fell asleep before that was over. And I'm going to eat my butternut squash, my chicken and potatoes and onions. Hello everybody! It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Out! Hey Boomer, you got a shout out too? I want to point out my shirt to everybody. It says... Hope for Elijah. Elijah kicking neuroblastoma. You guys can own a shirt that's similar to this by going to Mom's Vlog 80, going to more info, clicking on the link to buy t-shirts, and purchase a t-shirt. All funds go to supporting, um, to helping the family fund um, the, their expenses for everything they're going through and for Elijah's treatment. Um, they could really use your love and support. Um, you can also just donate if you don't want to buy a t-shirt. Um, or you could just subscribe, go over, click the little red subscribe button and show them some support and some love. So, let's help Elijah kick neuroblastoma, guys. And Ida Christine. She had jaw surgery about a week ago, and she went today, um, I believe it was today, to get her stitches out, and they couldn't take them out at the doctor's office. Um, so she had to go to the hospital to get her stitches taken out. And, oh. It hurts just thinking about it. Yeah. And while she was there, <laughs> she had some time on her hands, so she watched some of our older videos. And we hope you really enjoyed some of our older stuff. Um, pain reliever. <laughs> it's good. Pain reliever. It's good for uh, insomnia, too. <laughs> and um, we hope you're healing well and that you're not in so much pain right now. So, But thank you for the very kind words that you did say. We, we, we really appreciate our viewers and, and how much they <clears throat> really do appreciate us. Um, Greg Myers, welcome to the neighborhood. The Woodhouse Life, welcome to the neighborhood. And yes, I do have a full sleeve. And we are in the process of 
this sleeve. It's all designed. Getting ready to get started as soon as I possibly can. This one still needs a little bit of touch up, but I'm having shoulder surgery in April, so we're going to wait till after that. Ah, but we're doing a tattoo vlog, and I left a comment on your comment about it. So if you want to include your tattoos on our tattoo video that we're going to be putting up in March, send us a video or pictures of your tattoos and what they mean to you, and we will include you in our vlog. Rebecca Sunnybrook, Rebecca Sunnybrook, yes, Angie is awesome, and I love, love, love having her over for company and for dinner and stuff. She's just an amazing person, and <clears throat> she's she's just awesome. So it's time for neighborhood community credit roll. Okay, as far as the trivia question is concerned, uh, the it seemed like it was a really easy one. We got a lot of people who got the answer. It was Fawn Skin, which is in uh, right here, California. It's about two hours from us. We go there all the time. We used to have a Renaissance fair that we used to go to every summer, and of course, uh, it's it's six thousand feet up there, and it's cold even in the summer there. She loves it. Me not so much. So. Terry Johnson got it, and Kate Caroline, uh, Greg Myers, Tanya Longley, and Bambi S. said that she knew it, but there was already too many people who had answered it, so she decided to roll her eyes. Is that what she said? Yep, she rolled her eyes. All right. And, <laughs> and Terry, I'm still not going to tell you where I get my information. <laughs> <laughs> and today's trivia question, I'm still with the uh, freezing cold weather theme, uh, is the 1982 The Thing by John Carpenter. Uh, the opening scene has um, a helicopter from the Norwegian camp shooting at the dog. Then they get out of the helicopter and they approach the American team and they say something in Norwegian. What do they say? Now I think Ida Christine is from Norway. So she should know the answer. <laughs> but it, uh, we, want to we want to translate it. So. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. Be sure to go by and check out Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, the Neighborhood Zoo, Megan's Arts and Crafts, and we will see you all tomorrow.